Proximity to Aboriginal people and culture does not give you a right to speak about that culture, to share information about that culture, regardless of how you are connected in the Aboriginal community. If you are a parent of someone who is an Aboriginal person, if you are an uncle, if you are a best friend of someone within the Aboriginal community, if you are someone who lives in an Aboriginal community, but you are not Aboriginal, you do not have the right to speak on Aboriginal customs, Aboriginal laws, Aboriginal culture at all. You do not have a right to be sharing information about customary laws or any other kind of customs that there are that is the information that is um the laws the the culture that is for us as aboriginal people to share if you are sharing about someone's culture if you're sharing about aboriginal culture and it's something you don't belong to there is no way you can understand the nuances involved in it. There's no way you can understand the complexities involved in the culture. There's no way you can understand the lived experiences, how and why we do the things that we do. So if you are curious, learn about it, but please understand that proximity and regardless of how much you have researched, you still don't have the right to be sharing that information. It's not yours to share. Um, so just know, please stop sharing stuff that you don't know, that you have no business being um, a part of the conversation ignition. You also don't understand the racism that can come about when you start conversations like this. The discourse, you are responsible for that discourse that comes about because of the conversations you've started. And because you aren't part of the community, a lot of the times you don't see the racism that comes through. You don't see the Eurocentrism that comes through. You don't see the dog whistles that come through. And if you don't see them, you can't lead that conversation and guide that conversation in a way that is going to make sure Aboriginal people and culture are still respected, are valued, and that the Aboriginal community is not going to be harmed because of your conversation that you've started. There are many conversations and I have seen one just today. I wasn't planning on doing any content today at all. It was going to be my day off, but I saw a piece of content that needed a response. And I've now decided I'm going to do a fair few uh, response videos in response to address some of the stuff that's going on in that comment section. In this person, and I, and I believe this person has no ill intentions, I believe this person, there was no any kind of um, uh, harmful intent involved at all. But because of the actions of this person, I, as an Aboriginal person, and I have seen many, many, many other Aboriginal people in that comment section, have now had to do extra labour to try and guide and um, keep informed the people in the comment section. It is a labour that we did not ask for for today and it's a labour we've now had to do because we can see the rhetoric of that comment section is quickly, quickly turning into very harmful words, thoughts, ideologies that are harmful to the Aboriginal community. So here is your bit of Word of advice from me today, 
your proximity to Aboriginal people and culture or your proximity to any other marginalised culture does not exempt you from accountability and what you have done and what you have said, what you have shared. And it does not give you the right to speak about that community, that culture, those customs. You don't understand what you're talking about. Please avoid doing this.